Yo, what is up guys? Oscar here with a couple of new videos. Uh, the first video is going to be discussing Real, not Real Madrid, uh, Barcelona's and PSG's uh, matchup yesterday, which was a very disappointing game, even though PSG moves on to the quarterfinals, but I'll discuss that more in detail coming, um, more in detail in this video, but I do want to preview the other video, which is going to be talking about the Washington football team re-signing a couple of uh, restrict, unrestricted free agents who are now restricted free agents due to them re-signing with the football team uh, with Washington. So um, but that's what's coming up for today's uh, podcast or uh, videos. Um, so if you're new to my channel, you like what you see and you like what you hear, uh, give me a subscribe, hit that red button, get, smash that like button, give me a thumbs up, comment, share, Turn on post notifications, all right? I'm trying to grow this channel. So, um, first up, let's talk about Barcelona's game against uh, PSG or Paris Saint-Germain yesterday. Um, Barcelona somehow, some way needed to go and beat PSG in Paris 4-1. to one. And I'm sorry, but the way that PSG played yesterday, Barcelona, if... That first half was any indicator. Um, Barcelona could have been able to pull it off um, because they were playing that good. Just some inaccuracy. Gaylord Navas denied a lot of things. Um, really, PSG just, they didn't look like a team that was trying to defend a lead, trying to move on to the quarterfinals. It looked like they, they were trying to lose this game the way that they played out throughout this game. Even with the penalty, after the penalty at the, I think it was like the 18th or 19th minute, Kylian Mbappe um, scores the penalty, which really wasn't a penalty um, because there was a ball in play. And then, you know, I guess the referee, you know, saw a penalty or whatever. And then Barcelona, um, with an incredible goal from a, away from the goal, um, Lionel Messi scores there so um they tie it one to one um there was a controversial call towards the after that goal was made when uh, a player of PSG hit Longlet and it could have been a penalty but the referee favored against it and then towards the end of the first half um PSG caused another penalty, and then Lionel Messi, Keylor Navas with a block, even though he moved out of position to block it, so they could have retaken the penalty, but the referee, you know, went against it, so um, Lionel Messi was denied another goal to go, the opportunity to go up 2-1, to one. and I'm sorry, if Barcelona went up 2-1 to one at the half, they would have been more motivated to win that game in the second half because and they had the power to do it because PSG made horrible substitutions they let some of their players get yellow cards to the point where they're actually some players that they need are going to need to play in the that they need to get into the corner finals on um, so now there are a couple of men down, and let's see what Pochettino does. Pochettino is going to be criticized, in my opinion, for what his 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 tactics yesterday. Really, not the best performance of PSG. I bet everyone in France, in Paris, were holding their breath after that game because Barcelona they created chances, they just couldn't take advantage of them, or it was denied by Keylor Navas because, like I said, really PSG didn't attack. They didn't play attacking soccer. They didn't do any of that. And they allowed Barcelona so many chances. And like I said, if Barcelona took advantage of those opportunities, PSG would probably be eliminated. But um, the game ends on a 1-1 draw, which for PSG is enough to get them into the quarterfinals. But this performance yesterday that they had really doesn't... Um, it spreads more concern than 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 celebration because um, whoever they face, you know, those teams are going to be licking their chops. We won't know who they're going to play until.